Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have our five week update on our graphene sealant test. So quickly running through the products, we have Ethos Resist graphene hybrid coating, 303 graphene nano spray coating, the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Pro graphene flex wax, and lastly, Bowden Zone Bead Machine, which is our current winner in our sealant test. So taking on the three graphene products. So each one is marked in roughly the spot where it's applied. So yeah, this is the five week update. Um, the panel has been sitting outside now the entire time since we did our first initial rinse. And yeah, we're getting a lot of rain lately here in Queensland where I live. Um, so a few bird droppings and you know, little spots on it. Um, bit of water spotting, well not water spotting, but you can see where the water has dried. One thing I'll notice that I, I'll say that I have been noticing um, on this panel and just on mainly the turtle wax section, it kind of gets a bit of ghosting, which is like a wax thing generally, where it sort of goes a bit hazy until you wipe it off. Um, I have noticed that a little bit on the 303 as well, but mainly on the turtle wax. It doesn't really seem to show up on camera, but in person you can see this sort of like haze over that section and yeah like I said it's mainly the turtle wax I'm not sure if it's like a graphene thing I haven't noticed it on the ethos tiny bit on the 303 but yeah and nothing on the Bowden so um, thought I'd point that out I don't know if any of you guys using the turtle wax graphene have had that where it sort of ghosts or goes hazy until you wash it but yeah either way let's uh, get this a good rinse down so this is five weeks after sitting outside And you can see for the Bowden section there, you can see that's the sort of size square that we have applied it in. So let's give it a thorough rinse. So it looks like um, Nothing's really changed. They're still in about the same order of how they're looking compared to last week at the one month update. Um, but we'll wash it off anyway. So we've got our, our CarPro reset. Okay, so we've given it a wash down. Let's uh, rinse it off. Making sure we give it a thorough rinse leaving no residue behind. Okay, so there we go, we've rinsed it off. What I'm gonna do now, I'm going to put the camera into a sort of just a shower pattern and we're gonna just try and flood each section, see how the water sheeting is. As you can see, two of the sections are already dry, so the Bowden's and the Turtle Wax. 303 and the Ethos taking a bit longer, but we'll wait for them to finish sheeting and we'll put it into a, yeah, just the, just the um, hose pattern, the cone pattern, and we'll see how they all sort of do. All right, so starting off, here's the Bowden's own section on the end here, so it's gonna try and flood that up. And you can see we are now at the five weeks able to completely flood that um, but immediately sheets that water off and there we go that is dry so at this point is the first week where we're actually not you know pretty easily able to flood it, it still takes you know a second to get it completely flooded but then you can see instantly sheets that water off. So yeah, five weeks, so we've seen a first little change in the Bowdens. Um, let's go over to the Turtle Wax, and we've been able to flood that for a little bit now, so you can see that's nice and easy. No real issues flooding that. And the water starts sheeting off. Still doing okay. Definitely not as quick as the Bowdens did. It's still going. And yeah, there we go. Getting dry, another couple of seconds. And that ghosting I was talking about at the start is gone. So the wash gets rid of it. So it's definitely something like the product reacting to the heat or the humidity here in Australia 
because yeah, that's what kind of waxes are known to do, some waxes, so pretty interesting. Uh, what I'm gonna do now, I think I've got both in shot. I'm gonna try and flood both the Bowdens and the Turtle Wax at the same sort of time if I can. There we go. And we'll just look at the difference in the sheeting. So there's the Bowdens. You know, halfway done and finishing it off. And that is now completely sheeted off there. And the Turtle Wax. A fair bit slow. Hopefully you guys can see that. I know it's harder to ca capture the light. I'm um, trying doing this inside, outside. This seems to be the best without getting light interference and a lot of noise from outside. So going for this and there we go. Turtle Wax is dry. So that you can see it's a fair bit slower. So definitely still in that same order. We'll move our camera over now and we'll get the 303 and the Ethos. So we'll just do those both at the same time because they're both super easy to flood. Okay, so those are both completely flooded in water. The Ethos has got a nice little start happening. 303, just starting to sheet at the bottom here. So yeah, both very slow. We'll basically take about a minute for those to dry. Yeah, very, very slow for the five week stage, I will say. But we'll let it keep going. Slowly moving, hopefully the footage is noticeable. Like, I mean, in person I can see it, um, just how slow they are. Looking into the camera, I can see the sheeting happening. And yeah, they're pretty much spot on. Ethos, just a touch slower really, but about the same. I'm not gonna really call a, a place for either of those. They're just both in, I'm gonna say equal last. So yeah, there we go. That is our sheeting test done. Clearly still the Bowden Zone in first. Turtle Wax, you know, starting to fall a fair bit behind now. They, they were kept pretty even for about three weeks and then I knew that the Bowdens was going to stay because we've already tested this twice now against other Bowdens products and against some other uh, ceramic sealants. And then the Turtle Wax, we're testing for the first time. So I knew when we got to the three week mark and the Bowdens looked how it did, that was going to be the way it would stay for quite a while yet. And around this one month to six week mark is where we start to see it start to lose a little bit of its hydrophobicity, nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, the Turtle Wax, unfortunately, started to go a little bit earlier than that. And the 303 and Ethos were never even quite in the same league after the two week mark compared to these other two. So what we'll do now, I'm just gonna quickly blow this off. There's a bit of water still left on from the sheeting, some larger beads. Um, we're gonna blow it off, we're gonna dry it, and I'm gonna put the hose into a mist function. I'm just gonna check for some beading and see how they're looking in that side of things. Okay, so we have completely rinsed off and um, use the air dryer to blow that water off. So let's uh, mist this up. Try to get some decent sized beads going in each of the sections so you guys can see. Okay, should about do it. So coming back in, checking out the beads in each section. So there's the Bowden's own. So yeah, as you've seen me comment over the few weeks when they're perfectly round, these ones are no longer perfectly round, still beating up really nicely, but they have, just like when we noticed with the flooding the water, we can see a change here with the beads, we can also see a change. Some sections they're looking almost perfectly round, but you can see down in here, not quite as nice as they were which is the same thing over in the turtle wax. So, yep, also taking another dip down. These are both still like beating up really nicely, obviously the Bowdens and the turtle wax, still looking the nicest in the Bowden section. Turtle wax still looks really good. 303 never really had the nicest beads anyway. Not that it matters, like some products may last months and months and months and never have perfect round beads. It's just not what they're, um, what they've been made to do. But the 303, we never saw them in the first place, so we won't judge it too harshly on that. They aren't 
the nicest now, but they're still beating up. It's still looking completely different to our tape section. So it's obviously still there and still working, just not as hydrophobic as the other two. And the Ethos, it did at the start have perfect round beads and it has taken a fair dip. I'm gonna say it's looking the worst now. Um, so if you come in, you know, they're not, not looking great. It's still obviously there and still sure giving some protection, um, but just comparing the beads is all we're doing in this section. And yeah, we can see that they're basically in this order from right to left. So the Bowden's looking the best in first, and then the Turtle Wax, not too far behind. The 303, not looking great. Not something I'd be stoked with if I bought and applied to my car. I do prefer nice, really good water behavior, water sheets straight off, get nice beads, easy to wash and dry basically. Uh, and then the last, the Ethos. So neither of these two in the third and fourth position, I am really happy with. I would not be applying either of these to my car. Um, the Turtle Wax, I didn't really like the user experience of applying, but it does work well. It's doing pretty well. It's only five weeks, so it's, yeah, it's nothing crazy. And the Bowden's clearly looking the best. And I would apply that to my car, but I use ceramic coating, so I haven't really needed to, but definitely a nice product and seems to last well. Let's just hold the mist on and let's check how quickly the water disappears when we let go. So you can see, it takes just like a little half a second there for the water to disappear. Coming to the turtle wax, you see that is quite a bit slower. So comparing that to that, the 303. Yep, yeah, a little bit slower again. And the Ethos. Pretty slow too. So basically that's where we're at. Now we've got some really large beads going on in each of the sections. Let's show you, show you, guys, <coughs> show you guys those. Sorry, something stuck in my throat there. So you can see the the Bowden's, we can just dry it with the water still. That water's disappearing. The beads in the turtle wax. So on a larger scale of what we're just showing. Three out three. And the ethos. So yeah, there we go guys. Five weeks. Um, I don't think this test is going to go on too much longer, if I'm honest. I can see that this turtle wax is going a little bit quicker, and I know that this Bowden's will look like this past the three month mark. Um, so yeah, we'll try and work out, not 100%, but I may just weekly wash this off camera and do fortnightly updates for these videos now. Let me guys, uh, let me know what you guys think. If you want me to just keep going this weekly so you can see the the sort of gradual decline of these two, um, catching up with how these two are looking. Um, but yeah, I can tell right now that this turtle wax is on its sort of, you know, the path down. It's slowly getting worse. And this Bowden's, I already know because I've done the tests that it's going to look like this for quite a while yet. So, I mean, I can just go until this turtle wax starts to look like these two, strip them back, call it done. Um, but I'm gonna work it out as I go. So let me know what you guys think. I'll end the video there. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. Um, give it a thumbs up if you did and leave me any comments. Um, I have already got the next test sorted. So the next one is going to be a wax test. Um, and after that, I have the next sealant test sorted. So whichever is the winner in this, which is looking like it's gonna be the Bowden Zone again, that's gonna move forward and take on another range of products. Um, I've already got that one sorted, but after that, any other products you wanna see me test out, let me know. Um, and yeah. That's going to be it. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later.